Joao was a young man of 22 years old, who lived with his little brothers, Miguel, 12 years old and Maria, 10 years old, in a small apartment on the outskirts of the city. Welcome to the History or Truth channel. I invite you to subscribe to the channel to always receive our stories. They were a simple family, who struggled day by day to survive. His father had died when Joao was just 16 years old and his mother, who worked as a cleaner, was unable to pay the bills alone. One day, Joao received a letter saying that they were about to be evicted because they couldn't pay the rent on time. Joao was desperate, because he did not know what would become of them if they were forced to leave that place. He didn't have a job, and his mother worked too little to be able to take care of her siblings. Not knowing exactly what to do, Joao decided to look for a job, even a temporary one, in order to be able to pay the overdue bills and avoid being evicted. He spent days walking from door to door until he found an auto repair shop that needed help. Joao accepted the job immediately, and started working long hours every day. One day, while repairing an old car, Joao found a strange object hidden behind the workbench. He didn't know what it was, but he realized that it was very valuable. He kept the object and decided to take it home to show his brothers. When he got home, they were astonished by the discovery, and started researching the object on the internet. They discovered that it was an ancient reliquary of solid gold, inlaid with diamonds and pearls, and that it could be worth millions of dollars. Joao, Bale and Maria were in shock with the discovery, and didn't know what to do. They didn't want to sell it, as they feared it might be stolen or impounded. After much discussion, they decided to take the reliquary to an antique shop to verify its authenticity and see if they could safely sell it. The antique shop confirmed that the reliquary was authentic and valuable, and offered the brothers a surprising price for it. They accepted the offer, and with the money obtained, they were able to pay the overdue bills, rent a bigger and better apartment, and still have a considerable amount left over for the future. The brothers' lives changed completely in a matter of days, and they thanked fate for having found that valuable piece. They also decided to invest some of the money in their educations and their own businesses, to secure a stable and independent financial future. Joao managed to graduate in mechanics, Miguel in information technology, and Maria in arts, and they all started working in their own businesses. They were a close-knit, happy family, and they were grateful every day for finding that valuable object that changed their lives forever. But at the same time, they didn't forget where they came from and always tried to help others who were going through difficulties similar to the ones they had faced. They were an example of perseverance and unity, and inspired everyone to never give up on their dreams and to always fight for a better life. Over time, the brothers' name became known in the city, and they were invited to participate in various social projects, always with the aim of helping the most needy people. They founded an NGO, which aimed to provide financial and emotional assistance to families who were experiencing difficulties similar to those they had faced. The NGO grew quickly, and soon became one of the most respected and recognized in the region. Joao, Miguel and Maria also became successful entrepreneurs, and their businesses prospered every day. They never forgot where they came from, and always tried to keep their feet on the ground and help those in need. They were known to be honest, hardworking and generous people, and they were loved and respected by all. One day they received a letter from a lawyer advising them that they had inherited property from a distant uncle who had passed away. They went to the property, which turned out to be a large mansion with extensive land, and were stunned by their discovery. They decided to transform the mansion into a reception center for underprivileged children and young people, and thus expand their social actions even further. 
Over time, the mansion became known as a place of love and affection, where children and young people were welcomed and cared for, and where they could dream of a better future. Joao, Miguel and Maria became true heroes in the city, and their story was told and repeated many times. Inspiring people of all ages to never give up on their dreams and to always seek to help others. And so, that valuable object that changed their lives forever also changed the lives of many other people, making them true symbols of love and hope. Hope you enjoyed the story. Tell me what you think or is it true or history? Until the next story.